Super quick video, how to approach a minor 251 if you're a beginner. So here is a minor 251 in the key of D minor. We've got the two, minor seven, flat five. And this could be any number of different types of extensions here, but I've just done the flat nine. They're the chord notes. If I do, if we use the eighth notes, Now, here's some different ways that I think about the scales. Okay, so the E minor 7 flat 5 is just F major starting on the 7th, okay? And then the A7 with the flat 9. Put them together. I very rarely use the F sharp, but that's what that chord says it is. So, you know, chord to scale relationship, and then you D mine again. Um, I, I don't use that, but I suppose theoretically that's what you should use. Here's a good way. Here's a good way um, where you only have to think about the whole of the key center. So this one from bar 10, 11, 12 is in D minor. So I'm only using D minor harmonic. That is a great way, and I think I when you look at solos by Clifford Brown, Chet Baker, that's what I tend to see. Okay, and because the theoretically it might not be correct, but it just saves you having to learn three different scales. You just learn the one scale, and and it fits. Okay, so the next way that I might approach this is. Just going back to only using the F major scale starting on the 7th. But then here I use diminished scale. It's just something I do. You don't have to do it, okay? But if we go on the offbeat notes, you will see. If we start on the A, and then it's a semitone. And then we go, we go basically we're going up diminished. Yeah, so the A minor third up minor third up minor third up but then each time we only we ascend by a semitone and then that gives us another diminished but look at the notes that it gives us it gives us the flat nine gives us the third it gives us the fifth and it gives us the seventh and the beauty of this is if you do learn that those scales there are only three diminished scales so if you learn three scales you've learned all of your dominant flat nine scales. So you can have it as a C sharp or you could have that as a C natural, whatever you want to do. And then the last approach that I might use is just forgetting about the E minor seven. So I know it's there, but I just use the dominant scale. And this this example, I've just used the diminished. With the diminished, like this one, you're just learning the diminished scale and then the minor scale. But here it sounds just descending. Okay, so that's some different ways that I might apply the scales the theoretical side to the 251 but actually when i'm playing this is what sort of tends to come out just a little scale run down the chord notes to the third up to the flat nine and then some enclosures here Da, 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 dee, dee, da, 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 and then that's that diminished scale. Da, 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 A, B flat, C. That is that part of that diminished scale. You hear people like Clifford Brown and Lee Morgan using it a lot. Here's another way. Okay, so there's three quick examples how I might do it, but then look at these three examples. And these are all examples from a book I wrote or created using Chet Baker. So these are Chet Baker examples from minor 251s. And you can see he's just using pretty much a D minor scale there. That's all he's using. D 
minor scale. Okay, so there's three Chet Baker minor licks, and as you can see, he's just D minor melodic scale up four those three examples. He does do other um, ways as well, but that just shows you if a grandmaster like Chet Baker can use just one scale, D minor, then so can we. Okay guys, hope you like this video. Give it a like, give it a share, and I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye for now.